Hey, welcome back today to Wings and Eagles Ministry, where I want to share with you something from the Word of God that I believe will be a blessing to you. I believe today it will help you and it will give you strength. Today, I don't know what you might be going through. I don't know what kind of battle you might be facing. But you know, sometimes whenever it is that we're going through something like that, it's either we need to hear a word from maybe a man of God that is being preached. We need to read out of the Word of God. We need to hear a song. We need to hear something that will give us just a little bit of hope, that will give us just a little bit of strength. And the Lord put these scriptures upon my mind a while ago, and I want to share them with you right now. So if you have your Bible, well, you can either turn to it or I'll just read it to you here in just a moment. But it's out of Psalms chapter number 124. Now I'm just sort of going to paraphrase this. I might not read it all exactly word for word, but I will start out in verse number 2. And it said, If it had not been... The Lord who was on our side. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, are you glad today the Lord is on your side? Now, I know today something's probably battling you. I know it's hitting you from the right, from the left, from the front, from the back, but yet the Lord is on your side. Okay? Now, if you're a child of God, you can gladly say, The Lord is with me. Now, if you're not today, you can have the Lord too as a helper. Okay, God can, God can come into your life right as we're speaking the word right now. Okay, but this word is for mainly those of you today that are fighting a battle and you don't even realize. You know God is with you. You know God is, is your Lord and Savior. But maybe you're not really thinking about what he's doing for you. Listen to what this verse says. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side when men rose up against us, Okay, now if you notice the next few verses, what he does is he goes into, if the Lord hadn't been on his side, look what men would have done. Okay, now let's look at it for a moment. He said, then they would have swallowed us up quick. Their wrath would have been kindled against us. Verse 4 said, the waters would have overwhelmed us. And the stream would have swept over their soul. Okay? So he said, if the Lord had not been on his side, if the Lord had not been on your side, he said, then they would have swallowed us up quick. The wrath would have been kindled against them. The waters would have overtaken them. They would have drowned. They would have been covered. Okay? But then notice what he said in verse number six. But blessed be the Lord who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth. Let's go back to verse number two for a moment. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side when men rose up against us. Today, the Lord wants you to know today, my friend, that he is on your side. I don't know what's rising up against you. This verse here says when men rose up against us. Obviously, back then in those days, a lot of times they was fighting armies. They was fighting men. They was fighting uh, ranks of people who was against them. But today, maybe your battle's different. Maybe you're fighting an addiction. Maybe you're fighting a, a compulsion. Maybe you're fighting depression. Maybe you're fighting jealousy. Maybe you're fighting hatred. Maybe you're fighting bitterness. Maybe you're fighting sickness. Maybe you're fighting financial trouble. Maybe, maybe you're fighting economic problems with your job. Maybe you're fighting any of these emotions. Emotions are things that could come up on you physically, mentally, or spiritually. Maybe you're just fighting the devil for your soul. Whatever it is you're battling, remember, the Lord is on your side. The psalmist there, if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, he said, when these men rose up against me, they would have overtook me. The floods would have flooded me over. The waters would have overtook my soul. He said, I would have been given to the prey, their prey, or their, their attacks. But he said, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord today that he was on his side. And that same Lord today. And you can say that same thing. If you've been, if you've been going through something, maybe you've just come out of a trial. Maybe you've come through something. And you can look back now and say, if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, 
as I was going through that battle, as I was going through that problem, as I was going through that addiction, as I was going through that financial problem, as I was going through that marital problem, as I was going through that job problem, as I was going through that money problem, whatever it is, you might be able to look back now and say, if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, then surely that would have overtook me. But, go into that other verse. Blessed be the name of the Lord. If it had not been, but the Lord was on his side, and the Lord is on my side, and the Lord is on your side. So today, I want you to read that chapter again. Uh, and I'll put it in the description box. I'll put the chapter that you can read it from for yourself. But I want you to read that again. If it had not been for the Lord, then the enemy would have overtook. But because the Lord was on my side, I came out victorious. So will you. Just keep the Lord first in your life. Keep looking to Him. And you will be victorious. We don't know how long the battle's going to take. We don't know how long sometimes we got to go through these valleys or trials that we go through. But remember, Joy comes in the morning. Your morning will come. Just keep fighting. Just remember the Lord is on your side and you will win. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button as we want to help everyone grow in Christ. And we've got an important video coming up in the next few days. I think you're going to enjoy. And the way you will know when it's getting ready to upload is if you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right now. Remember, God loves you. God bless you. And we want to be looking for you on our next video.